I'd like to introduce you to my art space. It's my art studio that I've had for five to seven years on and off. Uh, it's my spiritual and sacred space and it's where I come to understand myself and humanity and spirituality. So please come in. So inside I do canvases that are uh, uh, about two meters square and I do drawing, painting, a bit of video work, a bit of photography. I find that uh, I just channel paintings from spirit and I'm just given a f the first color um, or otherwise I use black ink and I find that I can draw through that black ink and I'm guided um, in different directions. So I am very into colour, I'm also into my relationship between a life beyond this world and how my soul relates to life in this world. So I work through a lot of emotions as well as analysing how I am in the world and how I um, see myself in a wider universe on a conscious, deep, deep conscious level. If you would like to come and have a look at my work now, I will show you some of how that interplays. It looks good. <laughs> Mask. What do you think yeah. it's about? I haven't got the faintest idea. You tell me. Uh, it's about... Um, the kind of perception of people when you think that on one hand they're kind of really kind of loving and caring and um, unconditional and then they have this other persona that comes through that's similar to like a wolf okay. <laughs> that eats you up <laughs> okay. and then the angel so why does it have to be in, in i'll tell you what that's that way right because yeah, i think yeah. you're thinking like on a woman perspective yeah what yeah about a man, opposite, right, what about the opposite way? Yeah? So wait, you have to do the drawing to the opposite way yeah, of that one Yeah, noticing that with women. Right. Yeah, with she, she wolves. Wolf in sheep clothing, yeah? Yeah, that's it. That's what it's about. Mm. So you could have put them like, that's the wolf. You could have had like, a, like I said, wolf in sheep clothing, yeah? Mm -hmm. with, like bring the sheep into it so that they can see them. <laughs> like, or that is short could have made out of like sheep clothing or something. Yeah, it could be felt. Well, it is. It's it's wool. That it's like a kilt, okay. isn't it? So, but I suppose it could be properly sheep on it. Mm. With sheep running around that's the bottom what, of that's his what it is. skirt. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Wolf in sheep clothing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, man mm. in sheep clothing. Yeah. Yeah, that pretends. <laughs> it's about that's what it is. It's about illusions in life. Yeah. 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 About people in guise and in illusion. Mm. I like it, Angel. Cool, yeah. thank you. Okay, good luck with that, yeah? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. This is called In Memory Of... Dot, dot, dot. It's in memory of my uncle who died a couple of years ago uh, from a heart attack two years before he was due to get married. I made it out of Buddhist prayer paper. Uh, he, by chance, well, not by chance at all, by intention, was a gold miner but he studied geology and it led into uh, the likeness of being in the sense that his spirituality led him to gold because, but through real and just reasons. He, nowadays gold miners work like stockbrokers, it's a trade, um, or they trade gold. So he, the pyramids I made like children's games where you have different ways of looking at the paper and seeing what your fate is and so if you open up his fate it's like he's in a pyramid the gold lining the ground and then the top closes in on him as he finds his place of rest and so I felt uh, that this he was quite uh, he studied the Buddhist belief system and so felt very relevant to him
this uh, drawing, I've done a series of, I think, 16 of them. And they're a bit scary to look at at first, but if you look um, at the detail, each one of the drawings has the ladies are wearing different dresses, and they're all actually, I'm afraid, hung. Now, this relates to the 1600s, where the sensitive people in the villages and the communities and the witches were hung. And each drawing tells a story to do with that. And you can see that they're wearing housewifey clothes, and they have that feeling of the past. And they come from a very deep place in me, um, in my soul, a memory of a time gone by where very sensitive people in society weren't understood. And they were often the um, people that could help people. They had a, a very deep um, way of seeing, but they weren't, they were a threat to the communities. And because of this threat, unfortunately, uh, drastic action was taken to get rid of them. They were burnt, hung, um, or whatever. And these 16 drawings are done in memory of those people as a representation of um, some, some of the innocence that was unfortunately misunderstood and very hurt very deeply. Okay. Um, a mixture of themes and different ways of looking at things. My blue angel, uh, sort of the way energy and spiritual beings come to visit. Um, this is more like a sort of going into a different dimension. This one's a, uh, it's about energy, um, angelic beings, fairies, it's that kind of fun um, spiritual thing of being able to go where you want in the universe and just knowing what it is in the universe that you want to visit and just feeling that wonderland. It's Peter Pan really sums it up. It's called Wonderland. This painting hasn't been named <laughs> yet. It's only kind of just been resolved. It's taken me a long time to resolve it. Uh, the lady uh, represents my life on Sirius, which is a planet I believe I visited um, through the, my paintings um, before I came to Earth. Uh, on that planet, I feel that um, I had a position of responsibility. Uh, I had to look after the planet. Unfortunately, this planet was destroyed. It sort of, it became time for it to die which is a worry with the state of earth but my hands were tied and I found it very hard to move on from the fact that I couldn't do anything about the fate of this planet and it's been very hard for me to let go of this on a soul level. Uh, so the, the flamey bits are kind of the heat of the planet. I remember a lot of red rocks <laughs> and a lot of my paintings have that element in them. I actually have a couple of drawings to do with that as well. It's that red rock with the, those hailstones in this painting and that kind of beach scene. It's kind of life in a slightly different way to how we see it here. So this painting's about a visit by Archangel Michael. Uh, I think I was having quite a low period. It has references to Matisse through the colours here, but as you see, Archangel Michael is depicted in this painting. He's depicted as um, his body's young, but his head's old, suggesting that he's been around for a very long time, but he's very strong and very able. And there's a sort of symbolic representation of me lying there as he comes to sort of give me help and guidance. Uh, when it's put up on the wall, this looks quite, it's like he's coming to visit you. When it's above, because it's positioned above you on the wall. So this is a place for me to just relax and resolve myself and feel whole and connected. I come here to connect to spirit, to God, and to understand the life that I'm leading and where I'm going into the future, and also get a, a sort of anchoring of my past so that I feel that I have a place and an understanding of myself and the rest of the world. So thank you for coming and I hope to continue with everything. <laughs>